Hi everyone, I'm Eggy and welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can see from my previous videos, I look a little bit different. So I have decided to change my skin. I don't know if you remember or have seen any of my previous episodes, but the skin that I had before was supposed to tie in directly with uh, my first season in Kingdoms and I just hadn't changed it since I started my second season so I decided that I wanted to go with a new default skin one that is going to be just the same one that I use all the time so this is going to be my default skin from now on you probably have already seen it in my new hardcore Minecraft series and honestly I'm so proud of it I made it myself it's the very first skin that I have ever designed for myself and I think it came out really well so uh, let's get back into this kingdoms episode if you saw the last episode you saw that I built this sniffer sanctuary combined with an enchantment room on top I did manage or at least Dan managed to get a lot of sniffers in here we got some pitcher pod flowers we have a lot of the torch flowers as well and if you ever just walk through all of these sniffers you still get a good amount of the torch flower and pitcher pod seeds and there's a little waterfall over here nothing um too accessible because i didn't want them getting into the waterfall and like floating up to the top uh, but i have actually had to deal with endermen coming in here and placing dirt right here on the edge because i've i have found some sniffers just like way up there on the mountain from this just randomly placed piece of dirt in here so uh it kind of has been a hassle keeping them in here if you just uh go through this gate here and up the steps then it leads you to the enchantment room that i have here right in here is where the enchantment table is we have some lapis in here and this is a design that dan made where it is accessible on all sides and there's also a little brewing station area here with some nether wards, some brewing stands, and a map of the whole area. So I was just about to get started on the trees and trying to figure out a good area for the sanctuary, but I have found a house next to the starter base. So I'm going to ask Dan and see if he knows anything about it. Wait, so you really didn't know about this building that Alexis put in Blossom Branch? I did know about it. He told me it was a gift. You I'm burning it. it down. No, don't burn it down. I want the materials. Okay, you'll get it off the burning it down. No, wait, 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 wait. That's lava. Give me the lava, Dan. Oops. No, no. So I didn't succeed in convincing him not to burn it down because somebody said that it would be way better to burn it down in front of him. Look at my eyes. Does these feet look like the eyes of a murderer? Yes. Nah, I wouldn't hurt a fly. I'm scared. I feel like I'm gonna get assassinated by Eggy. Eggy's Why? looking at me very menacingly. I'm not doing anything. I feel threatened. That sounds like a you problem. He swore up and down he didn't mean any harm, but I found out that he actually didn't want anyone on the server with zero deaths, and I was the only one at that Wait, point. Wait, Eggy, I have a question. How much damage any. does this do? That is not the question that you should be asking. I'm not gonna. I'm not actually gonna murder. <laughs> The good news is though that while I'm the builder, Dan is the PvPer, and I knew that he wasn't gonna let Rascal kill me right in front of him. You shot my teammate. You just shot me off the tree for no reason. You shot my teammate. You shot my teammate. You shot my teammate. Why'd you do it? Yo. You serious? I mean, okay, he wants to fight. No, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I don't want to actually. Nah, you show me. If, you show me if weakness. Dan, I don't want to kill you.
After a long battle, the rascal finally decided to log out in the middle of the fight, and that seems to be the end of it for now. For today's episode, one of the builds that we're going to be doing is a bee sanctuary because we have had a beehive right next to the starter house since we moved here and I have felt so bad that I have a sanctuary for all of these sniffers but not for the bees that have been here since the beginning. So I want to get started on that today and uh, I need to find a place to put it. That means that I'm gonna have to get started cutting down a lot of trees. So this is the bee sanctuary. I tried to put as many different flowers in here as I could. Lots of one block tall ones and two block ones. And I decided to put the bee, the beehives in a row here to make them just a little bit more accessible. Um, so there are a lot of hives in here and a lot of bees. It's crazy that there isn't a single one out. Oh, well, there's a couple. I have named some of them already. Like, let me see, who is this? This is nobody. This is Rocky. This is Egg. This is Peaches. Who is this? Nobody. Who is that going crazy up there? Let me see. This is Mochi, Kiwi. So there are a lot of bees in here. I'm really proud of the way that it came out. The only thing is I've been told this doesn't actually look like a honeycomb. I think it looks beehive-ish, like a honeycomb. Maybe I should have given it some more dimension, but I think it's really cute. I really like how it came out. So the next build is going to be for a beacon. I am really excited to finally put a beacon into Blossom Branch because I feel like it could be really beneficial to helping me build a little bit faster. And I think it would be a nice break from building sanctuaries for different animals. The only thing is now we, we have to beat a wither. Let me see who I can uh, get together and see if we can beat the wither. the skulls and you have the sand i have some bows and we have a where is the sheep what sheep in the end sketchy and dan are the ones that are going to help me beat the weather and we're going to do it in the nether under a lava lake This goes down so far.
right, so that is going to do it for today's episode. We got through a lot of builds today, including the beacon build and the bee sanctuary over there. So please make sure you drop a like and comment which build was your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe. I am so close to 100 subscribers now, and that is all thanks to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos, and I'll see you guys next time.